ميل جينيتال سيستم ذا ميل جينيتال سيستم از فورمد اوف ذا برايمري سكس اورجان ويتش از ذا تيستس اند اول ذا فولوينج اسيست ذا تيستس ان اتس فانكشن اند ترانسميت ذا سبيرم تو اتس فاينل ديستنيشن Therefore, all the following are accessory, just helping the testes in its work. These structures are the epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, ejaculatory duct, borostate, and finally the common duct. for the male genital system and the urinary system which is the urethra which carries the sperm to the outside our subject uh, today is the testis what is the testis this is the testis it is uh, the primary sex organ it is a mixed gland Endocrine gland secrete testosterone and estrogen, and the exocrine gland form the sperm. What is the site of the scrota of the testis? Sure, each testis present in one of the compartments of the scrotum, which uh, lies outside the body. Why got? Put the testes in the scrotum outside the body because the scrotum uh, has a temperature uh, optimum for spermatogenesis. The optimum temperature for spermatogenesis is from 32 to 35 centigrade. Um, it is suspended. from the spermatic cord. Uh, we should uh, notice that the left testes descend one month earlier than the right testes. During intrauterine fetal life, the descend to the bottom of the scrotum of the left testes occur in uh, the eight months. while the descent of the right testis at the end of the nine months. Therefore, the left testis becomes lower in level than the right testis. The testis is oval in shape. Its size is two by one by one inch. From the upper bowl to the lower bowl, longitudinally, Vertically, it is two inch. From anteroposterior, from anterior border to posterior border is one inch, and from side to side is one inch. Therefore, its size is two by one by one. Sure, it is oval in shape, and its weight is about ten to fifteen gram. Um, external features of the testes always remember two. The testes has two balls, two borders, and two surfaces. First of all, the two balls. It has an upper ball related to the head. Of epididymis, and it has a lower ball related to the tail of epididymis, because the epididymis has uh, an upper expanded part called the head, followed by the body of the epididymis, and the lower part of the epididymis is called the tail of epididymis. Therefore, the upper ball is related to the head. And the lower ball is related to the tail of epididymis. 
it has anterior border completely covered with a serous sac called the tunica vaginalis while the posterior border is partially covered with tunica vaginalis and related to this part of the epididymis which is called body of epididymis um, the epididymis is related to the lateral aspect of the posterior border because the tail of epididymis end by formation of the vas the vas ascend on the other side on the medial aspect of the posterior border of the testis this appear very beautiful in this uh, lateral view to the right test lateral view to the right test and the posterior border related on the lateral aspect to the body of epididymis while the vas difference ascend on the other side along the medial aspect of the posterior border in this cut section this is very beautiful this is the anterior border completely covered by this blue color which is the serous sac which is called the tunica vaginalis and the posterior border is related to the body of the vas but the body of the vas is partially separated from the posterior border by this recess of tunica vaginalis which is called sinus of epididymis separate the body from the posterior border of the testes body of epididymis from the posterior border by this recess which is called sinus of epididymis uh, the testes has a medial border toward the median scrotal septum and has a lateral surface which is away from the median scrotal septum um, what is the coverings of the testis the testis has nine coverings three covering is specific to the testis and three covering of the spermatic cord external spermatic fascia crema steric muscle and fascia and the internal spermatic fascia as in the video of the spermatic cord and we have three covering cutaneous and subcutaneous as we take in the video of the scrotum covering of the skin and subcutaneous tissue are skin dartus muscle and coolis fascia therefore we have nine covering six of them taken in the scrotum and the spermatic cord remaining in this video three coverings of uh, the testis the three covering is specific to the testis first of all is the tunica vaginalis what is the tunica vaginalis? The tunica vaginalis is a serous sac. <coughs> we return to the embryology. Uh, during the descent of the testis on the posterior abdominal wall, a fold of peritoneum descends to the bottom of the scrotum. This fold, which is bluish in color, during intrauterine fetal life, it is extension from the peritoneum called the processus vaginalis after descent of the testis to the bottom of the scrotum this release organizers which are chemical substances leading to obliteration of all the proximal part of the processus vaginalis forming a fibrous band this fibrous band is called the stage of the processus vaginalis. 
this we say G of process of vaginalis is one of the structures of the spermatic cord. And I said we will know what is the stage of the process of vaginalis when we take the testes. Remember, this is the tense structure in the spermatic cord. We take in the spermatic cord three arteries, three nerves, three other structure, and the tense is the stage of the process of vaginalis, which is the obliterated proximal part of the process of vaginalis. The proximal part towards the peritoneum becomes obliterated and it becomes a fibrous band called the vestige of process vaginalis. While the distal part of process vaginalis remains patent and form a cover to the testis. This serous sac is called the tunica vaginalis. The tunica vaginalis is formed by is formed of two layers. One layer adherent and in contact directly with the testis. This layer is called the visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. And there is another layer lining to the scrotum and form one layer of the scrotum. This layer which lines the wall is called the parietal layer. Tunic vaginalis is similar to any serous sac, similar to peritoneum, similar to the pleura, formed of two layers. One layer to the organ called the visceral layer, and one layer lining the cavity called the parietal layer. This is the parietal layer, and this is the visceral layer of the tunic vaginalis. It is uh, apparent better in this cut section. This serous sac, which is blue in color, is the tunica vaginalis. The tunica vaginalis has two layers. One layer adherent to the testis, called the visceral layer, and one layer lines the scrotum, called called parietal layer. And uh, we said before in the video of the scrotum. The scrotum is formed of seven layers, three cutaneous skin, dartos muscle, and oculis fascia, and the three coverings of spermatic cord, external spermatic fascia, cremasteric muscle and fascia, internal spermatic fascia. And the seventh layer of scrotum is the parietal layer of the tunica vaginalis. The tunica vaginalis has a cavity, this cavity between the parietal layer and the visceral layer. And this cavity containing normally capillary fluid to facilitate sliding of parietal and the visceral layer to each other. Therefore, it has the tunica vaginalis has two layers and cavity and has a sinus. The tunica vaginalis has this sinus, which is called sinus of epididymis, which is very small recess on the lateral aspect, separating the body of epididymis from the posterior border. This is the first layer specific to the test, tunica vaginalis. The second layer is this white color. What is this white color? This white color is a fibrous layer. Surround the testes completely. Called the tunica albugina. Tunica albugina is tunica means a cover. And albugina means white because it is fibrous tissue. And um, this cut uh, section, very important vertical section in the testis. Uh, this uh, blue color is the tunic of vaginalis. Parietal layer lines the scrotum, visceral layer in contact with the testis, and this is the cavity of the tunic of vaginalis. What is this white color? 
which is here bluish in color. This uh, is a tunica albugina. Tunica albugina or tunica albuginia uh, surrounds the testes completely, but posteriorly the tunica albugina becomes the second to form this wide area which is called the mediastinum of the testis. The mediastinum of the testis send many, many septa inside the testis to divide the testis into 200 to 300 lobules. This is a lobule formed by septa from the mediastinum. Each lobule containing two or three seminiferous tubules. The length of the seminiferous tubule, the seminiferous tubule is very wide. It is about 60 centimeter. Um, to put six centimeter in this narrow area, the tubules should be convoluted. This is a convoluted seminiferous tubules, which is the factory for senses of sperms. These convoluted tubules near the mediastinum become the short straight, forming what is called straight tubules. In the mediastinum, the straight tubules and smooth together, forming a network of connected tubules. These tubules are called reti testes. This reti testis is the commonest site and the origin of all testicular tumors. Finally, from the upper part of the reti testis arises short straight tubules about 20 short straight tubules called efferent tubules efferent tubules carrying all sperms formed by the testes to the head of epididymis in between the seminiferous tubules here there are interstitial cell of lydic Interstitial cell of Lydig, which form the testosterone. Um, this is the internal structure of the testis, and will continue in the next video.